Okay, so converting my uh, four-speed 350 Buick to a uh, to a stage one air horn, the first thing I did was in the air bleeds down here, um, the outer set of air bleeds, because the top set, I'm going to have to knock that out and then fill it full of uh, an epoxy so it can be drilled out at a later date. But that's the first set that you see there on the left-hand side was originally, uh, was only a, about 70 thousandths, okay? These over here were a 16th of an inch. So what I did was I just get a drill bit and I got one of these nice drill bits that has an end on it that you can actually put it in, um, you know, like a larger pin vise or a nut driver or something. But that way it just gave me some leverage to drill the hole with my fingers. So all I did was run it down here, stick it in there, bleed. Which I'm trying to do through the camera and then you just start twisting it until it falls through okay now it will take a couple of revolutions not many maybe three four but you're not going very fast and it just opens up that air bleed to the size that you need okay so that's problem solved on the first thing there the second one is going to be getting rid of that second air bleed but uh, I think the easy way to do it is this. You just take that air bleed, and you see how it's a pressed in brass fitting. You get yourself a punch. And all I'm gonna do is put the punch on that air bleed, and then knock it out. All right, so knocking that out is a piece of cake. You literally just took the punch in there, tap it with your machinist hammer, and boom, out they come. So two little small air bleeds, um, so, I'm trying to figure out a way to maybe plug those in the air horn, and I think I may have come up with an idea. I have some small little screws that are meant for a holly carburetor uh, that I believe, since they're blanked off, because um, they're one, they're, they're meant for your your idle air bleeds to uh, on a holly, so you can drill them to whatever size you want. But if they fit in there, and I'm just going to run a small tap down in there, thread them to size, and put those little screws in. And then we'll have some plugged off air bleeds. So hold on a second. We'll see what happens. Okay, so my, I guess, first attempt at this, um, what I did was I knocked the plugs out. And uh, I realized, hey, that hole in there goes all the way through, right? It's, it's like an eighth inch hole. It's actually the right size. I think it's actually a little bit smaller than the eighth, like a five, six, fourths or something. But uh, it's actually the right size for an 830 seconds tap. Now, I tried the the Holly uh, um, the uh, screw-in block-offs, but I don't know where they're at. They're somewhere here on the table. There they are. Um, they're 630 seconds hole, which actually this thing just fell right into them um, because it's, the hole was a little bit bigger. So then that drove me to the point of, hey, well, what I'll do is I'll get the 830 seconds tap, run it down in there, and I tapped those holes all the way. I didn't go all the way through because it actually is tapered and gets smaller on the other end to hold the, to hold that air bleed, that sized brass air bleed. So, uh, and then it's just pressed into place. So what I did was I tapped it down to where it got snug. Then I backed it out. And what I'll do now is I'll put some 8 30 seconds uh, set screws in there and lock tight them into place. And they can't come out the other end because the hole is smaller than this one. And then it can't fall back through because this is uh, essentially, it, even if it did back out and wobble around, it would only run into the main body um, right here. Uh, what we're looking at is essentially right here, okay? So it's just going to run into that and then voila, nothing, right? So um, I think it'll be fine. So to complete the modifications on the air horn for our Stage 1 455 carburetor, <coughs> with the... Uh, with the air bleeds removed here in the in the top section, uh, and then the bottom ones I drilled out to uh, 80 thousandths, um, I decided that I think the best way to go is put some set screws in here. So what I ended up doing was I tapped that hole. It's actually at the perfect size for an 832 set screw. And I opened them up, and the passage is still the passage. It's It's actually there even on the stage one air horn um, it's just not drilled through so you can see there's a stage one air horn there's those holes they're not drilled through right so um, what I did was I tapped the other ones and we can go ahead and put some 
set screws in there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in place with some red Loctite. Um, the other thing that we have to replace is these outer, I think they're the motion tubes, I believe, um, on the outer holes here uh, on, the, uh, on the air horn, which are here. And here, it didn't have any. There was one lane in the bottom of the carburetor, so I'm assuming they probably had them to begin with. But all I did was pull them out of a spare carburetor air horn that was for the Chevy truck. Um, not so much a stage one. <clears throat> but I grabbed these things just for parts like this, um, just to repair the things that need to be repaired. So I'll go ahead and tap these tubes into place. I just put them in there in the hole. And then you just tap them down with a car or with a, a screwdriver handle and knock them into place. And try not to bend them or damage them. But we'll go ahead and get the screws installed with some red Loctite and we should be good to go with this stage one air horn so here's our air horn with the uh, tubes installed and we also got the set screws down in place um, i need to clean up that little red loctite right there before we try to put anything together but if i flip it over <clears throat> and i have the uh, i have the uh, screws here you can see the bottom of them um, so now, yeah, okay, it doesn't, it's not exactly looking like a stage one carburetor, but it'll 100% function like a stage one carburetor. Uh, and that's kind of the idea. Uh, here's all the remaining parts for the carburetor. Now, uh, the stage one, 71 stage one has AV secondary metering rods. Okay. Um, these are the original ones out of there. Uh, I'm sure I could have bought a different set, but I'm just going to use what was in there. Uh, the other thing was the K hanger right here this is a k hanger oh okay you can see the letter k stamped into it it just tells you how high the hole sits up in the in the hanger itself um it was completely rusted out and uh, so i ended up just getting another k hanger that i had um but so it's going to be essentially the factory uh calibration that's what we're shooting for now all of my uh, choke pull off and dash pot pieces are this one's actually functional um I don't know if I want to use it. It was from the original stage one carburetor. Uh, I'll probably put it back on just for now. Um, the other ones for the choke pull off, where do they go? There they are. Um, that, those are the other two that I had. Both of those are bad. Um, to test them, all you really do is hook up a vacuum hose to them and then just suck on it and see if it comes on uh, or not. Um, now, the accelerator pump rod, I had a bad one. More, mine is pretty rusted. I mean, it's pretty dang bad. Um, so I found one off of a, uh, off another carburetor. I got hundreds of these parts carbs. Um, so other than that, I'm going to get most of the parts cleaned up and screws cleaned up and put this dude back together today. We got our gasket, uh, air horn gasket. Also, I did end up using the stock accelerator pump. Um, I swapped my skirt over to this one, um, the blue skirt, and then this spring, is a replacement spring. Let me see here. It is much stronger than the previous spring that was on there, but it's actually supposed to be rated for the stage one. And that, it was a GM part number in a bag still. So I ran it through there and it's uh, stage one, W30 Oldsmobile and all kinds of stuff. So lucky me. Um, yeah, let me see what else there is. Oh, and I, I did put this uh, plastic deal in here to hold down the float and um that's about it so we're ready for reassembly first thing take your gasket all right so you see how it's got this hole on the side for the choke rod what i do is i don't know if i could do this on camera slide it around there i just don't have the coordination looking through the camera to do this maybe nope all right i'm gonna get the gasket installed and we'll set our base plate or our, i'm sorry the air horn on top and uh, start a reassembly. Gasket installed. Now put in the accelerator pump. Okay, so with the accelerator pump on there and the gasket, I just wiggle the top. You have to actually finagle this piece. It's like the old 60s style Chinese puzzles. Um, you gotta try to slide this. You have to turn the whole air horn to where it lines up and then bang, it'll fall through and then everything kind of slides in place. So, uh, don't get discouraged. It actually just takes a little bit of time and some patience, and you'll get it on there. So now let's go through and hook everything up, stick the screws in. Um, I still need to do the accelerator pump rod, and I will need all the linkage here on the side 
but I'll probably do that after I get the top completely installed because uh, I am waiting on these uh, the new diaphragms here for uh, the choke pull off. Um, I still need to put my base plate screws in. They're they're actually right there for air uh, for idle air adjustment, and I'm missing a fitting. Um, so it's got to be the 71 and earlier. That's the split year. Uh, I have a bunch of the 72s, but I don't end up. Um, I don't have a 71 any longer. So, um, but I am getting it together. So it will be on. It will be done, and it'll be on the stage one engine. So I got the air horn installed. Uh, the accelerator pump installed, the accelerator pump linkage rod, the idle uh, air mixture screws, and then the uh, throttle adjust screw. Uh, the last things I have to do is install this linkage that's uh, pretty crusted, rusted up. Uh, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to wire wheel these linkage pieces and uh, install them with the, uh, the choke pull-offs uh, and this uh, dash pot. So um, that's really all that's left to do. All the screws went in nice because I put the, because uh, I chased all the threads uh, when the thing was apart. It was in such bad shape. But now we got our rusty, crusty uh, stage one 455 carburetor completed. I hope you guys got something out of that. I'll see you later.